Welcome to my SU News Channel. Harry Potter Publishing House President Adrian Vaughn killed in horror speedboat crash in front of husband and kids. The president of Bloomsbury USA Publishing House was killed in front of her husband and two young children when their speedboat smashed into a sailing ship off the coast of Italy. Adrian Vaughn, 44, whose company is best known for the Harry Potter books, was launched on impact into the water Thursday, where she landed between the hulls of the two vessels and was fatally struck by the speedboat's propeller, according to local media reports. A harrowing video filmed by a wedding party guest on the struck sailing ship shows swimsuit-clad revelers dancing to the Backstreet Boys' Everybody When Chaos Erupts. What happened, one woman asks, as a horrified-sounding man replies, this ship collided with us. Jesus Christ, another man cries out as the music stops and people rush to look over the sides, seeing Vaughn's teen daughter bobbing in the waves amid debris. Others then saw the New York-based publishing president in the water being supported by her husband and children, according to Pietro Uzzolino, a bartender on the rammed sailing ship Tortuga. She didn't have an arm and the nape of her neck was white, as if no blood was flowing, he told the Italian newspaper Corriere del Mezzogiorno. It was terrible. Vaughn's husband, Mike White, was also injured. He was transported to a hospital in Castiglione di Ravello, where he underwent surgery on his left shoulder, the local reports said. Their children Liana, 14, and Mason, 11 were not physically harmed but treated for shock, the reports said. The speedboat driver, only identified as a 30-year-old man, was also hospitalized with injuries to his ribs and pelvis and allegedly failed toxicology tests after the crash, according to Italian news agency ANSA. We got the impression he was drunk, said Uzzolino, the bartender, who saw the speedboat driver vomiting after the crash. Vaughn and her family arrived in Italy earlier this week. Less than 24 hours before tragedy struck, her husband shared photos of the family joyfully posing at landmarks all over Rome, including the Trevi Fountain, the Colosseum and the Roman Forum. Enjoy, several loved ones wrote in comments. After a short stay in Italy's capital, the family traveled south, arriving in the iconic seaside resort town of Positano on the Amalfi Coast near Naples. On Thursday, Vaughn and her family chartered the 29-foot speedboat with a skipper from the town of Nerano and were touring the breathtaking Furor Fjord, when the vessel made an unexpected 180-degree turn and slammed into the 130-foot Tortuga, local media said. The larger craft was carrying 85 people, including German and American tourists, who were celebrating a wedding. Uzzolino said he was making a cocktail when he heard what he described as a loud bang and then saw Vaughn and her family struggling in the waves. Vaughn was rescued from the water and taken to shore, where first responders fought to save her life by performing CPR. A medical helicopter was later summoned to the scene to airlift the gravely injured tourist, but she died before she could be taken to a hospital, local reports said. The sailing ship's 55-year-old captain tested negative for drugs and alcohol, according to local reporting. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.